It is time to learn about two more important hooks from the Angular. The first is ng after content init. The second is ng after content checked. And the explanation is very simple. The first method will get called once the content will get initialized. And the second method will get called if there is any change in the content. It is very simple. But what is the content? That is the important concept. To understand this content part, we need to learn one more very important concept from Angular and the name is content projection. Once we will learn about this content projection, then we will talk about these two methods. So first let's talk about the content projection in Angular and for that we need to open our bookstore application in the VS Code editor. Here we are back to our bookstore application and let's run this application by using the ng-serve command. So here I am writing ng serve. This is a very important concept and a bit logical also. So please watch this video carefully. The application is up and running on this browser. So we are getting this message from our home component and this button as well. And this entire code is coming from the child component. Let's have a look on both these components. So if I expand this SRC folder, let's close this one. SRC app, then we are having this public components and here we are having this home. So this home is working as a parent component for us and this is a very small code here and here we are using this app authors that is a child component and this child component is coming from this shared folder here we are having this child component fantastic we are passing the data from the parent and we are displaying it over here and we have also used few more hooks in this process and here are all the details now let's talk about the content projection the content projection is a process of passing the dynamic data in a child. And what is the meaning of this dynamic data? Let's say after this entire code, I want to display something over here. And what is that something that I don't know in this particular component? Whoever parent component will use this author's component that will decide what will get displayed over here. How can we achieve this type of scenario here in the Angular application? To handle this type of situation in Angular, we need to use one more tag that is the ng content. And this ng content is a kind of placeholder. It means we are telling this authors component that there will be some data that will come from a parent component and you just need to display that particular data over here. That content could be a simple HTML, that could be a complex HTML and that could be a separate component in itself. So we don't know what will get displayed over here as of now. And that is why we are writing it ng content over here. Okay. Now, do we have any error on the browser? Nothing. Everything is working fine so far. Let's open the console also. So, so many things are there. But later on, once we will understand the concept, we will comment few of them to understand everything properly. Okay. Now it is time to pass the data from the parent component. And how can we do that? So this is the parent component and here we are using this app authors. So what is the process of passing the data in this type of situations where we are using this ng content? In this scenario, we have to pass our data in between this tag. For the input properties, we were passing the data by using these attributes. But here, because we are talking about the content projection, so we have to pass the data in between this entire tag. So let's see here I'm passing. In the h1 tag, I'm passing data from parent or let's put dynamic. So here I'm writing dynamic data from content. Just save all the changes and let's see what we have on the browser. On the browser, we are having this message dynamic data from parent and this entire code is displayed in the child component. To make this view better, let's make some changes in the CSS part for this child component and here is the child component that is the authors so let's put everything in a div first like this and here let's add one class the class name is the child component child comp let's use this class name in the scss file here we are so let's put some padding padding is let's say 10 pixel and let's make some background color as well so here I'm writing the background color. Here it is. And let's use this one. So what do we have now? On the browser, we are having this particular part 
from the child component this is just for a proper visibility now here comes the important concept let's go back to our parent component this is the home component now i want to use this child component one more time here so for that first let's use one hr tag this will create a horizontal line and again let's use this component like this and this time let's pass something else so let's say here i'm passing a button here i'm writing dynamic button on the browser you will notice that in the first part we are having the message and in the second one we are having this button it means we can pass anything from our parent component and this particular content that we are passing from our parent that is called as content now let's talk about our two methods the first one was ng after content in it and the second one was ng after content checked those methods will get called once this data will get initialized but how we will come to know that this data has been initialized this is a plain html let's understand this concept also by using two hooks from the angular so here we are in the authors component and here let's implement both the hooks so first one was after content init and the second one was after content checked and let's implement both of them actually just hover the mouse on the name of this component scroll down a little bit and here we are having this quick fix so it is saying implement both of them okay so we are having these two methods and here let's write some console.log console.log and let's put a message so it is after content in it and this is the after content checked update the message here also okay let's go back to the browser and this time we must have both the messages here we are having this message after content in it then we are having after content checked and because we are using this authors component two times in the public component it means it will get called twice and these two messages are coming from the second part let's make things little bit more complex as per this concept we can pass anything as a content and we can project it over here in the child component so if we can pass anything it means we can pass another component as well so let's get one more component and let's try to pass that component over here so i'm opening one more terminal window here we are and let's get one more component so ng g c i'm creating it inside the shared folder let's put the proper path that is the components and here let's use authors let's say address let's define the module name as well so module name is the shared let's hit the enter button so we are having one more component that is the authors address and this is the proper component and what do we have in the shared module we are having this name inside this declarations here it is and let's use it inside the exports as well because we will use it in the parent component that is the home component okay as of now this authors address is a completely separate component and here i'm using one input decorator and we are expecting this data from the parent and this address let's display it over here so here i'm writing let's recap what we have so far so far we are having one parent component that is this home component and we are having one child component that is the authors component along with these we have created one more separate component that is the authors address we are not using this authors address as of now anywhere we have just created this very basic component it has one input property and we are displaying it over here on the html we are assuming whoever will use this authors address that will pass the data in the input property and based on this design we will display the data over here this is the selector for this particular component and let's go back to our home component and in the second time let's say i am using that component because we can pass anything so i can pass this as well and here it is expecting an address so let's pass the address let's say here i'm writing india just save the changes and just go back to the browser what do we have this time here you will see we are getting the message 
from the child component that was the author's address and we are having the proper message over here this is the india okay what do we have here we are having this init checked init and checked both of them are working fine let's make it little bit more complex ultimately we are displaying this data in the author's component so that author's address will get placed over here and if that author's address will get placed over here it means that will be used as a child for this author's component and we can get that entire data from the child that is the author's address in this author's component using one more concept and for that we have to use here the content child in the content child we have to pass the type the type is author's address this one let's give it a name the type the type is author's address component we can get the data of the actual address from this property and we can use it here so I'm, here i'm writing this dot address and let's use it here as well and if this is undefined in any scenario let's use a question mark also let's save all the changes go back to the browser this time you will notice we are having two things first is this after content in it undefined in the first one it is undefined because in the first part we do not know anything about that child component we are passing that child component in the second one and here you will notice we are having the data this was india and again it is india now let's make things a little bit simple to understand this concept and here in this home i am not using two let's make only one so that we can have the messages only from one particular component okay we are having these two ng content in it and after content checked as of now we are passing this india as a hard coded from this parent component now let's make this one dynamic so here we are in the home component and here let's create one more property public address it is a string and let's put the default value the default value is india and let's use this property over here and we already have one button with name counter here let's update the address property value in this counter method so here i'm writing this dot address is equals to let's append this count after this address so what i'm doing is this dot address plus this dot count ultimately we are changing the value just go back to the browser what do we have we are having this india and india here let's clean everything and hit this counter button this time you will see we are getting the message only from after content checked we are not getting the message from init why because init method will get called only once after the do check but if there is any change in the content then only that after content checked will get called and we can get the data by using the content child so here you will see we are having this india too let's hit the counter button again and again you will see we are getting the message from content checked to make things very clear let's comment these do check and ng on changes just save the changes go back to the browser for the first time you will see we are having both of them after content in it after content checked clean it hit the counter button we are getting the message from content checked and this is the data and why we are getting this data over here in this authors component this is because in case you want to apply any logic based on the projected content then you can apply that logic over here in this ng after content checked no matter how many times you will click on this counter button this ng after content checked will get called here you will see and this is the value so this was the use of this ng after content in it and ng after content checked i hope the simplest definition will be clear to now because i was saying this ng after content in it will get called once the content will get initialized just after the content will get initialized this method will get called and this one the ng after content checked will get called every time there is a change in the content